You have done quite enough explaining, Bolofamp Gadam. You have poisoned the very hearts and minds of these good, kind, gentle citizens with your lies, your delusions, your conspiracies. Though you hide behind a mask of stories, we have seen beyond the veil. We see what you really are, Fearmonger. Hear, hear! Attention, Seeker! Hear, hear! Agent of Chaos! Your parasite stirs in recognition. This man is infected. Wreck the hells follow! Today, citizens, we rid ourselves of this cankerous sore. Today, we burn away all falsehoods. Today, we will be divided no longer, for today, we rise in truth. Don't you stand there? Help me, gods damn it! Help me! Hey guys, it's Talara and welcome back to another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. Gladys was literally just walking down the street here in Baldur's Gate when we stumbled upon a familiar face. You might remember that Volo left our camp a little while ago. Seems he made his own way to Baldur's Gate and has run into a little difficulty. Um, let's see if we can help him out here with our birdly talents. We'll say, you would kill a man for spinning yarns? For telling stories? Please, this is ridiculous. What's this? Another heretic in our midst? Another mind clouded by the disruptor's lies? Another soul to cleanse? Well, we are nothing if not gracious. Let us see if we cannot lift the veil from their eyes, too. No! Please! No! Oh, God. They have... Oh, oh. This is not good. I didn't realize the setup they had here. Not only do they have Volo tied up, they have this, like, full line of gasoline and fire. Uh, for some reason, the rest of my party is not in this battle, so let's get them in there. Everybody. You can see I did a little party switch up. We've got Shadowheart and Halson here with us right now. For some reason, they were way behind. Uh, we have got to be very careful with Volo because he is surrounded by smoke powder barrels, which obviously are extremely explosive. Um... All right, so I don't know what Volo did to these people, but either way, we gotta help him. The whole reason I was coming down here is because we're actually right next to the Steel Watch Foundry. Coming into today, I was like, okay, enough messing around. We have got to go rescue Lazel. I can't, you know, I, I can't hold off any longer. She, she might die. So that's why I was coming down here to hopefully disable the Steel Watch so we can get at Gortash, uh, just like Orin requested. But obviously, we've got other things we need to do first. Those other things involve fire. Alright, heal yourself, Gladys. We'll get the rest of the crew into the fight now. They were lagging behind for some reason. I love how the uh, Steel Watch here doesn't care so much for protecting order in the city. They're like, yeah, these random people fighting outside our foundry? I don't care. I'm not getting involved. Covered. It's like, honestly, fine. Unless they were going to be on our side, I'd rather them not be involved anyway, but... It's just funny. Alright. Carlite can't quite make it there, so we'll shoot a few arrows instead. Nice. Shadow Hurt, what's your range here? No, I haven't played as uh, Shadow Hurt in quite a while, so I have to remember sort of her abilities. We've got Moonbeam here, which I think will be good. Set up right there. 
and then we can heal Gladys. And then Halson, let's get you to wild shape right away. The big bear is here. And then we're gonna get you to dash to get as close to the action as we can. The bear is running. The bear is running. <laughs> this would be fascinating. If I have somebody else. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. I'm, I'm doing my best here, Volo. Just sit tight, man. I don't know how you got yourself into this position, but uh, I'm going to help you get out of it. But you're going to need to be a little patient. I don't even know who these people are. Well, I mean, it seems like they're apparently absolutists because Gladys felt the tadpole, but I guess Volo was perhaps getting too close to the truth of what's going on here in the city. That seems like him. <laughs> that seems like something he would do. Dance a little too close to the truth of a dangerous cult. Let's pop this down right here. So we got the moonbeam and the cloud of daggers on those people. They're not going to be happy about that. Nice heal of yourself, Gladys. Whew. Nice! The moonbeam and the daggers took down two, actually! GG's, everyone. Alright, what's up next for Miss Shadowheart? Again, I'm not used to playing as her, so I've got to see what all of our options are. What if we did Glyph of Warding, Fire, right there. Yep. I think that was the play. Carlag, get your sword out. She doesn't even have a sword. It's like a glaive, but you know what I mean. Take out the pointy thing. <laughs> Alson. Oh, still not quite enough movement. Do a little heal. We're ready to go next time. Bolo, no one's even around you right now. Chill out. You'll be fine. You can sit there for a few minutes longer. They really love walking into that cloud of daggers, don't they? Luckily for us. Look, I'll take it. Gladys has actually been sort of the tank in this encounter, which is, you know, not ideal for things that we would like to do, but we're gonna do Divine Strike Poison. On you. Nice. And then we can do a healing ward. Alright, Carlac. That miss? Nope, it was just very delayed. Alright. Nice. Classic Carlac taking him down in waves. Now we got Big Bear here, finally ready to fight. Also doing some great damage. And then there were two. I don't like your odds, boys. Two of you against the four of us, and one of us is a bear. <laughs> don't love your odds. Did you do the honors, Halson? Beautiful. Now, Volo, you all right down there, man? Swift as my feet can carry me. 
I'm coming, I'm coming. You're literally just sitting on a chair. <laughs> Chill out. Um. What do they want me to? What does he want me to do? Break the chair? <laughs> wow. Okay, it worked. How you feeling, Volo? God, I really thought I was done for. I suppose thanks are in order. Again. What's an heroic story without a little risking of one's neck, eh? I suppose. You know what they say, the bigger the story, the more people want to kill you for it. <laughs> you of all people will uh, know what I mean. I'll uh, tell you what I know, but not here. Too many eyes, ears, weapons about. Meet me at your camp, hmm? All right, I will. Okay, happy we could help out our friend Volo, but as I mentioned, the whole reason we came down here is actually to get into this foundry, which now that I'm here, I can see that it is locked up quite tight. There's actually a little message right here. Foundry entry warning. Security zone. Trespassers will be terminated without warning. Terminated, okay, that's not ideal. Um, wow, this is a beautiful statue down here what is this place hello oh wave mother queen of the depths hear me please carry holly to her final rest in the deep wilds please sorry are you here for wave servant holly's funeral oh it's already started out the just inside uh am i interrupting the funeral all are welcome to come and celebrate the life of the fallen wave servant. May the wave mother smile on you as she did Holly. Interesting. So who are these people? Like mermaids, kind of? I'm gonna get Helsin to uh, go back to human form. We're going to a funeral. This is so classic Baldur's Gate. I come down here to try to infiltrate the steel foundry. I instead find Volo and now we're crashing a, uh, a funeral. Because why not? Wow, some beautiful singing. Hello, everybody. Sorry to interrupt. I guess this must be the decedent. Who are you? You look pretty. Rejoice, sisters, for Umberly has blessed her humble daughter with a pure death. Her lips blue with her kiss, her lungs full of her quenching word. Umberly's mercy saved her from a slow, sinking death in the beast's shadow. How dare this beast sully the safety of Grey Harbor? We will find its master and send him struggling into the bitch queen's embrace. Not a sweet sleep like Holly's, but a suffocating flood of fruitless garths and bursting flesh. You, supplicant, Hi. What tribute do you bring to honor the Wave Mother's fallen daughter? Uh, I've brought a prayer? A layperson's prayers. Good, but earnest. Okay. Your tribute is well received. Thank you. Breathe deep as she permits. Oof, didn't know if that would work. Um, who's the deceased? Holly, one of Umberly's beloved Wave servants. Blessed Umberly saw fit to spare an ignoble death, but her passing was not as the Wave Mother intended. It was a beast who took her life, an unnatural one whose very existence is an affront to Umberly, a wretched metal monstrosity hewn by hubris. Ah. A rusting pollutant that bleeds black blood into Umberly's pristine waters. Okay, well, I, you know, I'm good at slaying beasts. Maybe I could help you. The Queen of the Depths is generous to those who serve her, and her favor is far less deadly than her wrath. Find the master of this poisonous beast and slay him. 
then one of her most precious gifts shall be yours. Um, okay. Well, where can I find the Beast Master? The Beast struck Holly while she was swimming in Grey Harbor. She was found by some fishermen. We haven't found its lair as yet. Perhaps you can find where the beast takes its slumber and skewer it before it wakes. Okay. Uh, Alright, I'll see what I can do. Salt kiss your brow. We await your return and the beast master's demise. Well then. Don't know how I ended up here, but hey, we gotta help out the mermaids and their beautiful singing. <laughs> This is the first time I've really heard of the Water Queen, but I really like her. These people are pretty and they sing nice. What more can you ask for, right? Who are you? Chef? Fish is piss. I loved Holly as much as anyone, but they've been wailing and praying for hours. My best pot for a bit of quiet. <laughs> but the singing's so pretty! Come on, don't be a grump. Alright, well apparently there's a beast in the harbor, and I mean... Who are we, if not people willing to stick our necks out for adventure? Do you know anything about this? The celebration is in the main chamber. Praise Umberly! Not helpful. Alright, I guess we'll go ask around on the docks? What does this say? Flood tide is the Umberland holy day celebrating the arrival of the winter storms with the sacrifice of a withered crone. The sacrifice of a withered crone? Who is the withered crone? <laughs> what the heck? It's one thing to uh, celebrate a holy day, another thing to sacrifice an old lady. Okay. Hi, do you guys know anything about a beast in the harbor? War is good for some businesses. What can I say? I got mouths to feed too. Okay, guess not. What about you guys? Hi. This catch is spoiled. You'll have to wait for the next boat. Okay, not helpful. What about you guys? This is life and death for me too, mate. You only get as many birds on my sloop as you can pay for. If I allow any freeloaders, my own crew will scrag me. I mean, fair enough. Um, but Captain Sleem, is it? It would be a shame to split up the family, don't you think? Just let the father go with them. Grandma Gladys has got to step in for some good Samaritan work here real quick. Very well, I'll do it. I suppose I can find some way to make it good with the crew. There you go. You're welcome. I don't know who you are, but all I can say is thank you. If you ever have children, you'll understand what you've done for us. Uh, you know, I've got some grandkids, none of them biological. Best of luck out there. Got all the dead bodies up here. Look how this one is posed! Oh my god! Look how Churg Elvik died. Wow, and he did indeed have a parasite, so that's who captured Volo. Thing. Um, I. Is there a way that I can not fight these guys? <laughs> okay, I genuinely don't know if there's any way out of this other than fighting, so I don't know what I did to peeve these steel watchers off, but uh. I guess we're just gonna have to deal with it. I'm just hoping that attacking these ones aren't gonna bring more. There's nothing more we can do about that for right now than just uh, start attacking and hope for the best, I guess. We'll send down an insect, pl insect plague. Hopefully that still hurts beings made of steel. It does. All right, so that's good. Yeah, didn't uh, didn't expect this battle to happen today. But hey, if we're going to go attack Gortash soon after this, we may as well thin his ranks a little. Now, I'm gonna get Karlek to come up around here so she doesn't have to get in the Insect Plague and do as much damage to the Steel Watcher as she can. Is 
So yeah, as I was saying earlier, before this whole thing sort of <laughs> derailed, if you will, my whole plan today was actually to go down uh, here to the, basically the factory where they make these steel watchers and to try to disable them so then we can start attacking Gortash, aka initiate phase one of Lazel's rescue mission. But as per usual, I have been distracted. <laughs> Um, as far as I know, there is no time limit to actually save Lazel, thankfully, because otherwise we would, well, I would be in a lot more of a hurry. Um, but we've got some time, so we'll just fight these Steel Watchers here and then maybe continue our hunt for the watery beast who lives in the harbor, and then obviously we'll eventually make it to Gortash. I'm gonna try Fear here, if I can target both of them. No, I can't. I was gonna do fear, but if that's the case, let's do... Honestly, I just want to heal, I think. And ask your wounds. Just keep everyone on their toes. <laughs> he just jumped in place, he just did a little hop. I think he tried to get out of the bugs and fire. Okay, he kind of succeeded there. A little, a little difficulty at first. Well, Carlax laying in some good hits. Beauty. Uh-oh. Everyone, get out of the blast zone. Halson, I need you. Get all berry up in this. Arm rum rum. Woo! That did some real damage. Like for me, he keeps walking into the fire and the insect plague, so sure, Gladys is down, but honestly, that was kind of best case scenario, because he took a lot of damage there. Alright, perfect. Detonation incoming. Everyone, get out of the radius. You can go help Gladys, actually. Get up, my sweet, sweet Gladys. The thing's about to blow! And you have one health. Alright! Again, don't know why the Steel Watchers randomly attacked me, but uh, at least we took care of it. Now I guess we can continue on our search to find this uh, harbor monster. I guess it's because these signs say secure area. This dock is closed until mm. further notice by order of Lord Gortash. See, the issue is when I walked through there before, they didn't get mad. So I walked through again this time and well, they were like, we're not giving you any second chances, ma'am. Okay. All right, what about you guys? Do you know anything about the thing in the harbor? Guido is supposed to keep the idiots away. Far away. Ouch. Get out of here, Jeezy Tops. Oh, I want to have a word. We doing this or not? The guild ain't my only clients, you know. Um, I don't uh, think I'm going to do a sketchy day, deal mate. with you, random sir. I'm trying to find out about the monster in the harbor. <laughs> wow, you had a lot to say. All right, let's try going around to the other side. Obviously, I'm also going to need to go back to camp and heal up at some point. Also, Volo is there waiting for us as well, but I want to get a bit of a lead on this creature before we go rest up. You could say that my interest has been piqued. <laughs> Blood. No, oil. Leading right inside. Inside here? Flim Cargo. All imports and exports duly handled in accordance with the Trades Act as decreed by the Council. Huh. And why is there a pile of oil leading right outside? Do you guys have anything to do with that? Mm. 
Blast it. This cargo's heavy as lead. And I've got lumbago issues. Sorry to hear that. Perhaps you should look into a different career. Who's in charge here? Let's you? Yeah, she seems in charge. Hi. My last decent mate joined the flaming fists. Now I'm stuck with these two lugs. Man, we are not having any hope. Any luck, I should say. I'm learning about this sea creature. No one knows anything about something lurking in the harbor? Can't talk. What are your Hells, it's everywhere still. I don't suppose you've got any experience getting oil out of sealed wood. Uh, oil? This isn't black blood? Of course not. You've been talking to that lot from the Water Queen's house, haven't you? Now, did you want something, or do you just have an interest in fishing vessels? Um, well, I'm actually looking into the death of a wave servant. Do you know anything about it? Ah, oh, sure. In fact, we fished her out of the water. Finally, a we lead. Here, we're out on the water casting our nets. Expecting to find the usual crop of halibut. Then, all of a sudden, my net starts dragging, and there's a bloody wave servant all twisted up in it. We took her back to the docks to try and help her, but she was already dead. What happened to her body? The other wave servants came to get it. Uh, her. Sorry. They took her back to the temple. You can hear the bloody caterwauling from here. No one likes their singing, do they? Not as much as me. Uh, did you see anything else unusual? We both saw some sort of wake moving towards the docks when we picked her up. But there weren't any other boats around. Maybe it was something big moving underwater. I don't know. It was weird, whatever it was. Kind of looked like it might have been heading towards that building across the channel, actually. Huh. Is your boat all right? The boat's fine, but the nets are in tatters. Need to deal with all this oil before we can fix them, though. Speaking of, why are there so many dead fish floating in the harbor? Bugger if I know. Might be something to do with all that oil in the water. It's too bad we can't sell them. Bloody waste, if you ask me. Hmm. Okay, we've got a lead. Now, apparently, they're saying there's lots of oil in the water, and you can see over here it's killing fish and stuff. And the wave singers mentioned a mechanical beast in in the harbor, so maybe that's where the oil's coming from. Anyway, we've got a lead, which is good. Okay, so the lead from the fishermen brought us right back over here, which is where we were earlier when Gladys m noticed the oil leading in to this place called Flim Cargo. Now the doors are locked. The question is, is anybody going to be mad if I lockpick them? I, f I don't know if these people just hanging out around here even care. I think they're just refugees, so let's give it a try. Well, <laughs> that wasn't a very good try, Gladys. Can we try that again, please? Much better. She heard me and really tried the second time. Got us a critical success. <laughs> okay, here we go. <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh, oh, what it what is in here? Holy crap, what are these things? Their names are Gristle, Snap, Cuddleface, <laughs> Ripper with two R's, and Snarl with two R's. Now, these are not mechanical by any means, but they are very large beasts, and it makes me wonder, what the hell are they doing in here? Now, the main issue I have is I was not prepared for a fight. So, let's do our best... To get this over with quickly. Karlak has a scroll of fireball, which I'm going to use right here. Do some good damage. Very nice. And then we'll move her in to act as sort of a tank. Nothing will stand in my way. Gladys is going to stay out here, because otherwise she's just going to die. Just heal ourselves. Call it a turn. Halson, we'll get you inside, and then we'll hit, get you to do a good AoE spell as well. Um, let's do... We've got multiple options here. Wall of Thorns. We did a Wall of Thorns right across here. They wouldn't be able to get to us. Oh! What the heck? That is not what I wanted. Oh, well. That's a waste. <laughs> Oops. When in doubt, um, I guess we'll just Hunter's Mark one of these guys. 
That was so lame. Wow, that was basically a waste of a turn because of a misclick there. That's rather unfortunate. Okay. Well. Let's see what Shadowheart can do for us. Let's try... Let's see, we don't have a lot of our spell slots unlocked because of that- after that last battle. I wasn't fully ready for this. Ooh, this powerful scroll we picked up in the basement of Sorcerer Sundries a couple episodes back. Scroll of Artistry of War. Summon the operations of six master strategists. Maybe that's what we need. Oh yeah. Beauty. Okay. That's one down already. Just seeing Karlak to survive a few bites here. Nice. That's another one down. And another one down. R.I.P. Cuddleface. <laughs> Who named these things? Cuddleface. Iconic. Nice. One left. Can't give up. Not now. Done. Now. Who owned these things? This place is called Flim's Cargo, but all I see inside are giant fluffy monsters that were trying to murder me. Speaking of murder, a dead goblin? What the heck? What are you doing here? That's sus. Maybe he owned the beasts, I guess. Now, we did see something over here. Ah, there's a basement, of course. There's always a basement! Looks like Flynn's cargo is not what it seems from the outside, and I think we might have our lead on our harbor monster. Alright, uh, we cannot go down into that basement until we take a rest, so we actually need to take a quick repose, if you will. We can set up camp here in Flynn's cargo, now that we've emptied it out. We'll catch our breath, and then we'll head back tomorrow to head down in the basement and see what creatures we can find. Um, before we call it a night, I actually noticed earlier we do have a visitor in camp. It is Gail's old friend, Elminster. So let's speak to him before we tuck in. Elminster? Oh, hello, my boy. No, don't mind me. I'm uh, just enjoying a lungful of bull durian <laughs> Yes, a distinctive aroma, though perhaps not one worthy of bottling. I hear you've been browsing in the most esteemed of Emporium's sorcerous sundries. <laughs> uh, indulge my curiosity. What wonders did you discover there? Well, um... <laughs> You, you know, nothing in particular. Some charms here, some potions there. Uh, is that so? Well, far be it for this doddering old archmage to pry into another man's shopping bag. Oh, uh, as we're here, I shall offer you a morsel of general and non-specific advice. Yours to apply to any relevant knowledge you may have recently acquired. Some things are best left broken, and some people are well worth restoring. What are you saying? Or rather, what are you not saying? Mistra knows you defied her, Gail. Well, of course she knows. She's Mistra. She bids you come to her holy shrine in the Stormshore Tabernacle. There, she will grant you an audience at last. Whoa. Um, you really think Mistra will be willing to hear Gale out? I see remaining optimistic is my duty. Especially when I'm not the one being asked to do the seemingly impossible. Trust in yourself. Trust in the weave. If you are willing, trust in Mistra. 
There is a conclusion yet to be written in this sorry tale, Gale of Waterdeep. And yours is the quill that will write it. Well now, isn't that some food for thought? I mean, I've already made my thoughts clear on the fact I do not want Gale reforging that crown. But is this the best course of action? Let's see what he has to say about it. Go ahead. I'm listening. Um, you know... Why does Elminster have such faith in you? I've often asked myself the same question. I've never really found a satisfactory answer. You clearly see something in me that I can't. The wisdom and intelligence required to overcome almost insurmountable odds, perhaps? All the stupidity required to attempt it. I take it as a compliment either way. You don't get to be 13 centuries old without becoming a sound judge of character. And cheese, apparently. 13 centuries? I knew he was old, but golly gee, that is quite old. Do you regret not using the orb when you had the chance? I regret many things in my life. Choosing to be here, intact and unexploded, is not one of them. Amen. For now, to have a few more days in your company, no. I wouldn't change a thing. Gail, you're gonna make grandma blush. Well, you know, maybe you should meet me at Mistress Shrine. I We should hear what she has to say. Of course. Really? That easy? What? Why was that so easy? You're just gonna meet me there. Uh, oh, all right, cool. <laughs> really thought that was gonna take a little more persuasion. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm gonna get some well-deserved rest, and uh, on the other side, we're gonna go explore the basement, hopefully find what's lurking in the bay of Baldur's Gate, and then we'll start to tackle this never-ending list of quests. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time.